welcome back everybody. So yesterday one of my neighbors is about to move a couple of little ways down in walking distance and she posted this up for sale. And honestly, I don't know what year it is yet. Uh, I do know it's a DRZ 70 Suzuki. I'm guessing it's a maybe a 2007 or a 2011, somewhere in that year range model. She bought it new for her, for her kid uh, several years ago, but unfortunately he uh, hit a mailbox, broke his arm uh, right there. And I see the the steering stop on the frame is busted right there. I don't see any damage here. Uh, we got something there. But for the most part, from what I can see, uh, everything looks straight. And it's all factory. I mean, it's, it's not been molested. If there's one thing I hate is working on something that's been already messed with. She says it hasn't been ridden in seven years. Um, it's kind of cool too. It's got electric start right here. So somewhere there's a battery in here. We have our choke right here. We have a key switch right here. We have our coil. It's a four stroke 70. I think it's like 67 cc actual. And we have a single carburetor right here. The slider, choke, and that's gonna be your fuel inlet right there. And we got our air box. This thing is for sure gummed up. Um, I've already put some gas in it, and just from the smell of things, it's, uh, this is gas that I put in it last night, and it's definitely gummed up. Um, it kinda runs. We'll pull the choke out there, and we'll do that again. So, why don't y'all come along with me, and uh, let's get this carburetor clean for one. Let's get some air in the tires for two. They're low. And um, see where the battery is located. Obviously, that thing is going to be shot. Possibly cleaning up, because it looks like it's going to clean up really nice. It's just, literally, it's been sitting in a garage forever. I mean, it's got spider webs all over it dead spider right there everything feels nice the brakes feel nice the throttle works um, down is neutral three times up for second third gear so let's get this uh, let's get this taken care of I don't have a tire gauge because these stems are almost impossible to get on so let's at least get some pressure in here that's good Ooh. All right, so let's go ahead and get this seat off. There's two 10 millimeter bolts under the frame here. Tiny little seat. I think maybe it doesn't. Maybe this all comes off. Okay, that's neat. Huh, okay. Eight millimeter out of here. That washer. Yep. So that kind of exposes the. Sure, you can put it right over there. So that exposes the carburetor. Most likely, we'll take it out from this side. I'm gonna get this 10 millimeter out. I think what I'm gonna to try to do is take the tank off to give me more room. Even though, I mean, this is really a simple repair to get this carburetor out. It's best to make it as easy as possible. 
And I mean, you couldn't have Can the I most put down easiest thing to work on. Can I put down a watch? Yep, hold on, let me get this part out. There we go. There you go. Take this off. Another eight millimeter. This is a gas tank. That's right. No, this is not his motorcycle. There's no way. Um, I don't know who's going to ride this thing yet. I don't know. Maybe we get to that one. Oh, you got to get this part off. Mm -mm. We're not going to take that part off. No Let's go ahead and get this fuel line off. Kind of got the bike propped up against the stool. That way we can get this clamp off. Yeah, I can smell it now. There we go. Always twist your fuel line, it comes and off much easier. You gotta put well, some make sure gas we're in the off position. And now you gotta put the gas Good. in. Alright, got it. Okay, so there's Allen head screws that hold, oh, they're easy, that secure the carb to the intake. So we're gonna grab those. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Let's get the choke out of here. See, this is so easy to work on. Nothing like the larger bikes. I used to restore motorcycles like crazy when I was younger. It was so easy. Well, it was a lot easier to do without kids, but not if they don't enjoy watching this. But my preference was four cylinder Night Hawks, Shadows, Magnas. Those were great bikes. This is so easy to work on because it's literally just a single carburetor. Now, ideally, I'd like to drain this car before taking it off. And I don't think I'm gonna have that ability. I don't know where that tube goes to. So we're gonna just try to <clears throat> maneuver this car about. Get a wrencher right here. Probably should have left that on there. No, everything's coming off easily. I love it. This is your throttle slide. A little bit. That's and all that is right there. That's just gum from the carburetor or from the gas, the old gas. So let's pull this overflow tube off. This should come right out. We're still, we still got the carb upright. I still want to keep this drain tube where it's at. So we're going to kind of push that back in there. I have a bad feeling. As you can see, this is stopped up somewhere. So all that old fuel is coming out there. We're going to do this outside of the garage. Or so none of this gets inside the garage. Because we got to get this float bowl off to start cleaning this car. So let's get the four float bowl screws out. Give it one nice tap with the uh, screwdriver. There we go. Look at that. It's got old brass, an old brass float. And there's the inside of the, the car bowl. See how she's pretty nasty. All right. At least we got her out. So this is the reason why we weren't getting anywhere with the uh, drain bolt and the float bolt. This is all gum plugging everything up. Now the carbs are not terribly bad, but um, this is going to be this is your pickup for your your choke. So that's why it was running with a choke. This is going to be your main jet and your idle jet. These are probably plugged up. Now I don't have the most efficient way of doing this, or do I have a can of carb cleaner? But if you've watched my lawnmower video. I am a fan of Purple Power. Purple Power basically eats the gum right up. Now, we're still gonna use an extractor to get 
well, not an extractor, but some pins to get those carbs taken care of. Now, if you've watched other people's YouTube channels, they have little sonic cleaners with purple power mixed in with it. And the reason why is because the way this dissolves gum up so well. So for the, for the um, initial cleaning, all I'm gonna do is just kind of use a toothbrush just to kind of get stuff in there. What I used to do in the old days, even though back when I used to restore all the motorcycles, is I would use my pressure washer to pressure wash the carburetors. And I'm telling you what, that worked incredible. But because this carburetor is so small, there's and plus it's got a brass um, float on it, I'm not going to chance that to do that. So we're just going to use the hose for that. Now let's see what we can do with this flow bowl. Just the float bowl alone is coming along as well. Put more solution in there. We'll let that sit. We'll let that sit just for a minute and then we'll come back and spray it. It would be nice to have a sonic cleaner and I would have one if I did this on um, a normal basis and I don't. I, I do a bike maybe once a year and this is, I think, this is going on year two with this one. So this is once every two years. So there's no need to buy all that other stuff um, for tools. So if anybody's wondering why I haven't done that yet, that is the answer. All right, let's see what we got. use a bigger blade but these are everything's been going real smooth so I'm not really worried about it so we're gonna take the main jet out and I can see light through it but I'm still gonna run the wire through it just to be safe I take the idle jet out and that came right out I'm pretty sure that still stopped up Check the needle valve. Needle valve looks fine. The inside of the uh, the needle seat area looks fine. Um, so this is what I use. This is from many years ago, and they're still available on YouTube. And it's just a wire kit, and it allows you to run the wire through the jets. Now some jets are too small to use this with. So uh, we'll see if this is gonna work or not. Yeah, okay. So I'm able to pull that wire all the way through. And at least at a minimum, get something through there to at least get, a, get solvent through there to dilute any more gum if there is any more in there. Happy about that. Now let's just do the main jet, make sure there's nothing. Um, even though you see light through it, that doesn't mean gum isn't around the hole slightly blocking it. This is pretty much clean. Let's, let's put the float and needle back on the carburetor into the needle seat. Make sure that float is around the stem there of the float. Put the pen back through. This is the nice thing about working on these motorcycles. Sometimes these things, they don't require much to be perfect, but you know, the slightest gum will stop up the carburetor. All right, first thing, let's make sure. Okay, that works. Put our main jet in. You can see light right through it. Put our idle jet in. Yeah, 
the laser plate yeah. I'm across. Yeah, it. When putting the carburetor back on, you're going to have a gasket, an O-ring on the intake tube and then on the little gasket diaphragm spacer right here. Make sure you have them put on correctly, otherwise if you put it on double, it will not work correctly. The biggest thing about purple power is don't let it dry up on the surface that you're trying to clean. This is diluted just slightly. It's not just full blast. Grab the brush real quick. Okay. You ready? Oh. Small tank. Don't need much. All right, reserve. Choke. On. What do you think it's gonna do? Okay. 